most complimented fragrances first half of 2022 let's go people welcome back to my channel and here we go again uh 27 fragrances got complimented in the first half of 2022 and uh we are halfway through the year already if you can believe that it's crazy time is flying um anyway so like i said 27 got complimented and uh you guys don't know when it comes to compliments i know you guys like that stuff me, I can take them or leave them. I don't really care about them. But again, I know you guys get into this stuff, so I'm going to do it, all right? How long will it do when we go? 27th most complimented fragrance of the first half of 2022 is La Labo. And this is called Tainoir 29. Uh, if you like a tea fragrance, a spicy tea fragrance, you should jump on this. It's flipping phenomenal. And it did get compliments. How long will it do when we go? All right, next up is the 26th most complimented, and this is coming out of the House of Juice box, and it is called Siren and Sailors. All right, that is a friggin' beauty right there. All right, um, fellas, don't let the pink color fool ya. It is a monster. Beautiful freaking fragrance, incredible. And it did get complimented big time, 26th most to be exact. How long it when we go? Moving on to number 25. And this is coming out of the house of Kemi, and it is called Kemi. Ah, very, very nice fragrance. Um, Wicked Oody, if you like Oud. Um, I know a lot of people out there are looking at this and raising their eyebrows because, you know, the, the general consensus among the fragrance boots in the community is that Oud fragrances don't get any compliments. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Well, if you believe that, then I got some really cheap oceanfront property to sell you in Mongolia. You're gonna love it. Palm trees everywhere. Oud fragrances, for what it's worth, guys, absolutely get compliments. So if you're listening to those guys who tell you that Oud smells like crap, they have no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, moving on. How long it do when we go? 24th most complimented is from Electimus, and this is called Patchouli of the Underworld. You wanna know something really crazy? My wife, as you guys know, does not like fragrances at all. Can't stand them and really hates patchouli. She likes this. Oh my God! I know, isn't it crazy? I know, I know! Um, I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's because she does like citrus and um, tobacco as well, but but she does, you know, kind of get into citruses. And I think that because this has a really pronounced, beautiful, bright citrus opening, that's where she, you know, that's probably what she was smelling and actually liked it, if you can believe it. Anyway, once again, Electimus, Patchouli of the Underworld. How long it do when we go? Next most complimented. Is from Ramon Monegal, Flamenco. That is sexy, ladies and gentlemen. That is a freaking really, really sexy fragrance. Um, hard to explain, uh, but it's a floral bomb. It's freaking awesome, all right? And it did get compliments. People love this fragrance on me, all right? Once again, Flamenco. How long it do when we go? Moving on. The 22nd most complimented fragrance for the first half of 2022 was coming out of the house of Amawaj. And this is imitation. Believe it or not, people, and again, this, a lot of what you're seeing today and a lot of what you're seeing on my channel, in a lot of cases, flies in the face of what the rank and file, and again, the new Jack Boots will tell you, um, animalic fragrances, niche fragrances don't get any compliments. Every single fragrance on this list is niche, and they all got bombed with compliments. This, by the way, and another crazy twist of fate, was at the gym. Ah! 
two compliments at my gym, told me I smell good. This is unbelievable. Imitation from Amouage. Moving on. How long are the two and away we go? Next most complimented is uh, from the house of um, Paris Monte Carlo, and that is Essence de Petula. That is a really incredible, long-lasting bomb of a fragrance, and it's not. Again, I've said this before. If, if you haven't been following my channel and, and you're new to and you're new to this, uh, this is not your typical, you know, uh, grandmother's patchouli that she wore in Woodstock. I say it all the time. Uh, this is a really beautiful soapy ambery patchouli just stunning and it did get compliment people love this one amazing paris monte carlo essence de patchouli how long did you win away we go all right next is coming out of the house of uh man sarah and uh this by the way number 20 it is royal vanilla you don't hear a lot about this one this is a low flyer where man server is concerned but it is a freaking monster and it is absolutely beautiful and is the and it is the 20th most complimented of 2022 royal vanilla how long are you and away we go next up is number 19 and it's coming out of the house of zerjoff and this fatal charm once again complimented at the gym i mean what can i tell you guys um it is what it is once again if you I really into compliments and you know I'm not saying that you guys are gonna get complimented because everybody's different everybody's circle of friends people that they congregate with whatever everyone's different but these are what got bombed with compliments for me all right again fatal charm from Zerjoff next How long are you and away we go? is number 18 uh, and this one <laughs> oh buddy this is a very expensive um, high-end niche fragrance and if you like cannabis you're gonna love this and it is from the house of fragrance dubois and it is cannabis intense it's not really uh, like a, a pot that you're used to smelling that people are smoking but it's more like again it's more like the cbd uh i'm not into that stuff i never smoked it i don't even like the way it smells but i love the way this fragrance smells it's not heavy in cannabis you can detect it, but everything else in there is going to smother that and just blow you away. Again, very much complimented. Cannabis Intense. How long did you win away we go? All right, next is 17. Uh, if you ever, if you're really missing Amber Absolute, I said this before when I featured this fragrance, if you're missing Amber Absolute from Tom Ford, this is an absolute dead ringer for Tom Ford's Amber Absolute, except it's less spicy and lasts longer. It is a monster from X Igolo. This is Ryder. Flipped out in my office. Flipped. Everybody went insane over this. Once again, Ryder. How long are you and away we go? 16th most complimented. Here comes again, Electimus. Awesome. People love it. People absolutely love this fragrance, and I do too. When it opens up, it's going to blow the socks off your feet, punch you dead in the face, pick you up, and punch you out again. It is a beautiful freaking fragrance, and it is very much complimented. Once again, from Electimus, Asta. How long are you and away we go? The next most complimented was from the house of Montal. Sweet Flowers. You like Sweet Flowers? It is what it is. It's in, it's in the name. You're going to love it. Everybody loved it on me. Very much complimented. Once again, Sweet Flowers. How long are you and away we go? All right. Next most complimented is uh, number 14. And this is coming out of the house of Nishani. And it's called Sultan Vetiver. I didn't think that would get complimented. It's very, very, very toothy, really hardcore out of the gate, irrelevant, smells insane, and everybody flipped over it. Once again, salt and vetiver from Nishani. How long are you and away we go? Moving on to number 13. This is coming out of the house of Visconti. Incredible. That one is called Akaba. Um, I'm going to basically tell you what this smells like. 
You take a fresh, brand new pack of cigarettes. Open them. Don't smoke them. Open them. Stick your nose inside that uh, inside that package after you tear it open, and that's exactly what that smells like. Everybody loved this fragrance. Once again, from Visconti Acaba. How long is it to win away we go? Next most complimented. And number 12 is from Mansara. And this is called Musky Garden. Just an absolutely beautiful musky floral fragrance. You know, what's in a name? Musky Garden, it's musky, it's floral, it's absolutely incredible, and it lasts forever. Oh, and by the way, I was wearing this on my recent trip to South Florida. I got in the elevator, three people, they, they were like, oh my God, what smells so good? Is that you? Yep. Musky Garden from Mansara. How long is it to win away we go? Moving on to number 11. And this is by far the most powerful fragrance on this list. This is from Zerjoff and it's called Alexandria 2. Non friggin' strosity. Holy mother of God. Um, again, oud fragrances are not supposed to get compliments. Nice fragrances are not supposed to get compliments because they smell like, you know, crap. They're fecal, they're barnyard. <clears throat> not even remotely close. Don't listen to those people. They're staring you wrong. I'm telling you, it's not even close. And it was the 11th most complimented. Once again, Alexandria too. How long is it when we go? Moving on to cracking the top 10. Number 10 is coming out of the house of Mask Milano. And this is called Lost Alice. I knew about this fragrance, but it took me forever to pull the trigger. Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you why, but it doesn't matter. I got it now. And it is the 10th most complimented of the first half of 2022. Once again, it is called Lost Alice. How long is it to win away we go? And next is number nine. One of my favorite houses you already know. Electimus, this is Mercurial Cashmere. Wore this to South Florida. Complimented. Everybody loved it. Once again, Mercurial Cashmere. This is a spicy, uh, this is a spicy powdery fragrance. How long is it to win away we go? All right, moving on to the eighth most complimented. This is coming out of the house of Zerjoff. You guys know from my recent haul, don't know why it took me forever to pull the trigger. I always knew about this fragrance, but why I didn't pull it, couldn't tell you. But it's pulled. Naxos. One of the sexiest tobacco fragrances ever made. And was complimented. Naxos from Zerjoff. How long is it to win away we go? Moving through these quickly, guys. Moving through them quickly. Number seven, this is the most powerful fragrance, at least that I've sniffed so far, and I've sniffed like maybe 90% of them. From the house of Ormond Jane, that is Tolu. What's in the name? Very strong Tolu balsam, ambery, a uh, little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, very powerful, and very much complimented. Once again, Tolu. How long is it when we go? All right, next is the sixth most complimented fragrance of the first half of 2022. And this, once again, from Fragrance Dubois, this really got complimented, guys. Oud Orange Intense. People flipped over this fragrance. Okay, I'm not even going to get into the whole Oud thing, but I'm telling you, it's number six for a reason. There you go. Six most complimented. Oud Orange Intense. How long is it to win away we go? Moving on to number five, cracking the top five. And number five is coming out of the house of Montal. This is called Restretto Intense Cafe. I went to Starbucks the other day and I walked up to the barista and I started ordering my stuff for my wife because she drinks coffee. I don't. I love the way it smells, but I can't stand the taste of it. It's disgusting to me. Anyway, the barista said, wow, you smell really good. She said, is that some kind of lotion? I said, no, it's actually a, a perfume and it's called Ristretto Intense Cafe. She goes, it is really, really nice. I said, ironically, it's actually a coffee fragrance, coffee and rose and, you know, sweet vanilla. She said, it literally is the best fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. Not even joking, that is verbatim. Once again, Ristretto Intense Cafe. How long is it when we go? 
All right, moving on. We have now reached the fourth most complimented fragrance. 2022, first half, Amouage. Epic. This was in my office, okay? One of the HR reps, okay? I got several compliments that day, but the biggest one was one of the HR reps and uh, actually two of them. Um, one said, oh, Eric, as usual, you smell really good today. And then the other one walked behind her and said, what is that? You know, I told her, you know, told her what it was. Um, she said, you know, she's into fragrances too, but she never smelled anything like this. And there you go. Um, really nice freaking fragrance right here. Um, very spicy, floral, sweet, incredible. And the fourth most complimented. Epic for Mama Wash. Hello, and away we go. Now we're moving on to number three. The third most complimented fragrance of the first half of 2022 is from Hermetica. Look at the name, fellas. Dark Oud. Same girl. Same HR rep. The very next day when I wore this. She was like, I never smelled anything like it. It's just so different. I'm like, yeah, it is. So then I had to explain about the whole Oud thing, and I think she's hooked. Um, biggest compliment I got, again, was from her, and that is, once again, Doc Oud. All right? How long it do, and away we go. Moving on. Next up is number two, the second most complimented fragrance. First half, 2022 MDCI. <laughs> Another masterpiece. You never hear about this. Queer Garamante. Flipping unbelievable. Oh my good God. Guys, you have no idea. No idea how good this is. This is one of the most incredible leather fragrances in history. If you haven't smelled this, you owe it to yourself. Here's the story. Went to get takeout. Walked into the restaurant. Uh, girl, the girl behind the counter flipped. She was like, oh my God, are you wearing a cologne? I'm like, yeah. She goes, what is that? I told her, um, and I think, it was, I think it maybe was her boyfriend that was like in the kitchen cooking. He came out from around the corner and he flipped over it. And she said to me, she goes, we're both into really nice, um, you know, we're into unique fragrances. I'm like, well, there you go. I, she, she made me write it down. I did it. Que Garamante House MDCI. She very much appreciated it. And that is the second most complimented fragrance. Absolutely incredible. Again, one of the most incredible letters ever. How long it do and away we go. And now we're moving on to the big dog. Numero uno. The most complimented fragrance of the first half of 2022. And it wasn't even close. This is from Roger. And it is called Creation E. OG right there, people. 100 mil. Incredible. Okay. Here's the biggest compliment I got. Actually, this was by far the most. Um, my One of my students who was a fourth degree black belt recently got married and we went to his uh, wedding reception and we were sitting with people that at the time we didn't know. It was his wife's family. A couple of, like three aunts and an uncle. And we were sitting, with the we were sitting at the table with them and they were absolutely hysterical. Like I'm kind of an introvert, but they had me going. Um, very, very, really hilarious people, really nice, had us in stitches the whole friggin' night long, and they absolutely loved this. My wife kind of threw me under the bus because we were talking about a whole bunch of things, like, uh, you know, gambling, whatever, and uh, vices came up, and my wife served me up, told everybody, yeah, he's addicted to fragrances, he's got a whole cabinet, five shells, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, man, here we go. But it was good though, because um, I usually carry my fragrance with me in case I have to re-up, all right? So she made me take it out of my bag. She said, take it out of the bag, show them, show them, show them. Like, all right. So I did. And they all flipped over, the whole table, the, the, the friggin' fragrance got passed down the line and they all flipped over it. Biggest one was from an 82 year old man, all right? Because it was my, uh, my student's wife's uh, uncle. And uh, he said, you know what? I got to tell you, he was very raunchy. Like, you could tell he was old school. Very raunchy. He, he snaps off the cap. He stuck it up to his nose. He's like, I got to tell you. He said, this is giving me wood right now. And I haven't had wood in years. <laughs> I 
friggin' flipped out. That guy was awesome. But anyway, that was the most complimented fragrance, Creation E. You like tobacco and rum? Get it. Um, it is expensive, like all of these are, but you know, you get what you pay for, in my opinion. And there you go. 27 incredible complimented fragrances. And this is the best one right here. All right? That's all I got. My next review is soon. I'm going to get back to watching my Brady Bunch. I'll talk to you later. Tell me who's that pop